My name is Clark Chen. I'm the owner and founder of Shirts and Skins. I'm also a co-founder of Concourse Coffee. I was originally born in Taiwan, moved here when I was seven years old. Martial arts was um, part of my upbringing. I took karate, taekwondo, um, but I also played water polo in high school. It's also 1977 when we first moved here in May of 77, and the Blazers had won the championship in June. I just remember driving in my mom's car, people were honking their horns. My first experience into really about Portland and basketball and Blazers. My favorite teams to root for are the Portland Trail Blazers, of course, the hometown team. Um, in the 80s, because the Showtime Lakers, um, I, vote, I rooted for them. For college, it's University of Arizona, the men's basketball program. Uh, but my favorite team is probably my son's fourth grade basketball team. Shirts and Skins is a basketball, I would say, team uniform uh, brand that is focused on the youth and AAU club basketball market. My support for Northwest Shootout, again, goes back to 1994, the first year that we had it. And it was a way for Shirts and Skins to be the forefront of what was happening in, especially in high school basketball. And it was great just because it was the most talented high school graduating seniors to come out of both states. Um, the very first year was just really the boys game and it evolved into uh, adding the girls component as well. The partnership with Sport Oregon started in 2019. It's been very natural and organic. Uh, I feel that shared the same values and uh, philosophies. It's about, it's always about the, the player, the player experience, as opposed to about what a brand needs and about what we need. So it's really about the, uh, really about the player experience. On April 2nd, the waiver game is uh, happening at Liberty High School. It's between the best graduating seniors from Oregon, Washington, both boys and girls. This is going to be the 29th year. Uh, that's of the event, and uh, last year, uh, Washington defeated both Oregon uh, boys and girls pretty badly, and I think there's going to be some payback hopefully this year from the Oregon side, and you know, Washington always has some great players, so it's going to be exciting to see. Community is, to me, is about inclusion. It's about having a safe place, a place that you feel comfortable, and um, so I try to do as much of that with for shirts and skins and also as well as concourse here. Concourse Coffee is a sport and culture themed coffee shop. Whether you're a sneakerhead, we welcome that. If you are into comedy and art and any other aspects of your, your interests, uh, we welcome that. So our model here is all a welcome. I love Portland. I grew up in Portland, except for uh, you can't replicate. Portland with the coast being an hour away, the mountains, the rivers, just all the, all the natural beauty it has. I think it has some work uh, that needs to be done and that requires a, a community, not just a, you can't just always put the blame on city leadership. I think it takes everyone. Portland as a basketball city, it starts obviously from the Blazers uh, as one of the only pro franchise for a long time until the Timbers and Thorns uh, came uh, to the scene, uh, but you know Portland also has uh, great brands like Nike and Adidas, and brings the basketball culture. For example, the Nike Hoop Summit and President's Day Youth Basketball Tournament that draws over 500. Some in the past has drawn over a thousand teams to the city of Portland. Um, so, from a grassroots standpoint, um, all, the, all the way to uh, college and, and NBA, it's uh, it's unique in that way. I turned 53 this uh, past year, and the first 50 years, I think it was about always planning for the future and not always living the moment. Uh, the Hopefully the next 20 or 30 years or so is really about living the moment and not look so far into the future. 